Okay, I'm just messing around with uh, these two big coils. Um, I'll show you how they're hooked up in a minute. I got them really close together. You can see inside there I have a piece of a broken ferrite bead in there, and I'll pull it out afterwards. Um, just got the pulse circuit. I just want to show here so people understand what I'm running this off of when I don't have the batteries in. And this is the wire, and it goes to all this here. It's all one thing. Uh, it's just a five volt, one amp supply, and it works awesome because you know, it, it, being that it's limited, uh, let me plug this in. Uh, being that it's limited uh, compared to what a battery is, you know, I'm not frying anything uh, at least immediately. All right, we're gonna hook this up. Put the positive in. Now we have a, a 12 volt car battery or a light bulb. I'm gonna turn this light off. You can see there's two filaments in there. I, I don't have the other ones hooked up. I believe those are the high beam and these are low beam, uh, the filament. And then over here we have this uh, other 12 volt bulb. It's, it doesn't take much current to fire this one up, but uh, they're nice little bulbs. They're cool. I, I put them in places instead of LEDs and stuff for some things. And the variance that it has gives me some ideas of better ideas of what's going on visually um, but I got this one going off of we have the the battery coming in just have these caps on here so 20 2000 microfarad and this is a 1000 but uh, you know, stiffening it up a little bit and so there might be more current in the circuit than one amp because especially when it's pulsing from these it could be quite a bit so my measuring uh, coming from here is where I'm going to get my uh, a good idea of what it is even though the circuit might be pulling pulses of much higher current from the caps so the capabilities of the circuit during those pulses can be a lot greater than what the uh, limits are from here um, circuit and then we got this timing cap and then we got one 1k resistor going to the gate and then we have ground here which is the yellow out oh, that bulb is hot going up here I doubled up and that goes to the source and then these blue wires go over to one side of the coil from the uh, drain and then our coil goes around here it's this one to this coil here soldered on and we're taking the back EMF off of that directly without I put this cap on here for resonance if I if I take it off this bulb uh, is not so bright okay so it helps there this one when I put the cap in actually goes down a little bit okay well, I'm not really worried about that that's cool um, so like I said take this off we can see I have little crisscrosses there I had to get rid of those man those are probably a bunch of resistance coming from that side of the coil um, the green one and the red one go down to here and we just I'm, I'm running these two one on each leg in opposite directions instead of catching I just want to see what the DC component would be um, without uh, collecting the other half but I'm just showing results I got so far and let's see and then this bottom side here goes to that orange wire which is on this side. So the diode is just pulling uh, one half of basically the uh, back pulse from the coil. So we put this cap back in. It's just going across these rails here. And now we have this one. I have a little broken ferrite bead in there. So I'll pull out. And let's see. I got these leads on here with a cap. Okay, um, it just helps to tune this. Uh, I've been experimenting with different caps so far. This one is the one. Let me see if I disconnect it. You can see the difference with it on, with it off. Okay, so that helps. And let's see. So we're picking up off of this one to this one to light this bulb and we're taking the back EMF from over there um, 
if I disconnect, let's see, I'm going to take this bulb out, but we're going to watch this one. Let's see. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to see if I can get it to go in and out here. Okay. Lights on, off, on, off, on, off. Not much of a change there. Um, but we're lighting this 12 volt bulb. It's not maximum. It's not uh, firing up the whole, you know, the room should be lit up pretty good from it. Let's go like this and just let it. It's not that bright. You know, this one's kicking some butt over here. But uh, those uh, filaments are, you know, they, they take some current at 12 volts to really light them. Um, let's see what the voltage is. It's at 2.6 volts, which is reading here. And I don't even have a capacitor on there. Let's see if a capacitor. Uh, let's find a, hopefully a 250 here. Yeah, this is a 220 at 50. I'm just going to put it in there. Let me grab my camera with the other hand so we can see I'm putting it in there with it here. I forget if it does anything with the capacitor. Ooh, see that? Put the capacitor in, and it must be causing some kind of funky load. Let's try another capacitor. I have uh, another one. So, after a rectifier, you would think that the capacitor just might help this light up. Even this one goes down because we're losing power in both coils because they're transmitting to another, like a transformer. So, uh, let's try one of these. Now, this is a 0.33. Actually makes it lower. Huh. That's that's kind of like a first for that kind of stuff for me. Cause uh, let me see here. I'll try this little puppy here. Usually, if you put a cap in, you get a little more. But it could be the tuning frequency. Let's see if we can get the frequency here that we're operating at. Five hundred hertz. It's not too much. Okay, um, we're gonna pull this one away from this one. We're gonna watch this light go out. Okay. I'm show this ferrite bead that is broken. I just had that in there, and it's just sitting like portion of this one, and mostly in this one. I'd say there was a larger portion of it in that one once I set it in the spot where it actually feels pretty good. Um, if I don't have that in there, we still get a little bit of light, but not much. This is in, out. Now I'm going to put this bead in here. And I'm going to slide it in. You can see uh, she got caught up on something. Let's see. There we go. Now, uh, see, there's a good difference. Actually, it's brighter now than it was before, I think. Just tune a little bit. You can see it hanging out the end. It's that bright. I'm going to push it in just a little bit. Oops, went past. Right there. She's in there. Anyway, just want to show that. I'm um, taking 5 volts, 1 amps into the circuit and um, lighting this heavy duty 12 volt bulb at 2 point something volts plus transmitting to this one and lighten up this 12 volt bulb at just about full brightness of what it should uh, be. Um, and this is just a capture cap and a, and a diode for that. All right, thanks.